Let's hear what some What do you put this in front of me? I'm going to show this. Hey, everybody. It's a very big day here. It is Tribe Friday, every Friday. But today is July 22nd. Hoda is off, and she's going to be so upset because one of the biggest stars in the entire celestial world is here today. My co-host, the one and only Celine Dion. Oda, thank you so much for not being here. <laughs> She's Oda, are you her... okay? She so, take... Oda, are you okay? Are you okay, Oda? Oda, are you okay? Oh, now it's okay? Oda. Oda. Poor Oda. How do you H say her Regis name? Regis calls her Coda. Hoda with a... Uh, listen, listen. Oh. Yeah, let's listen to you for just Oda. a second. Well, you know, thank you, Hoda, because I'm having a, a great time. She, she, you've never done this before, right? Like what kind of hosting? Part? Have you done this before? Uh, no, but uh, let's let's do this and let's, see if you want me again. No, you, we already want you again. I've never seen so many people in our studio. I can imagine we're going to get a big old rating today. You know what? I don't know if you even. They remember. all want to have a glass of wine. Yeah, they're all. They've all been having some wine. Here's the thing. I've known Celine. Um, since 1990, the year my son was born, because I was working with Regis, came in early. I heard you before I met you. I heard a voice, and, and I said, who, what are they playing in the other, and who in the heck sings like that? And I walked in, and it was you, and you were rehearsing, and I think we have a I look at that. I thought you were in labor. No, baby. Okay. No, I, and you, I, I could voice. not believe what I was baby. hearing. Let's, let's see it. Oh, no, you don't have it. hearts need and want another. Give me wings to play. You know what, you've grown, you, you, you fermented nicely. Now, I went back, after I was watching, I, I went and grabbed Regis and said, come here. I dragged him out <laughs> to listen to you. And we sat there with our mouths agape, and we said, this is a major, major superstar, not since Barbara Streisand has been someone with a voice like oh, that. Oh, no. Yes, so and nice. then you came on, and you barely spoke any English. It was your very first uh, in, um, English CD. Yes. And you were 23 years old, right? I don't remember. Yeah. So let me, were, maybe I'll remember uh, after the glass. <laughs> Somebody cut her off. <laughs> one, two, three, one, two, three, Kathy. One, two, three, one, two, three, Kathy. One, two, three, one, two, three, Kathy. A sip one. of wine. We're coming back. <laughs> no, okay. I, I was I was worried that you were gonna like be difficult See, today. <laughs> Listen, I'm Not the 14th difficult. kid of a family. I know you, you are think a survivor. No, but you have been, as I have been this past year. Yeah. We have had quite the quite the journey. We had a and we I, had a journey. Yeah, and we are still on one. Yeah. And I know everybody who loves you, and and uh, even the ones who don't know you but love you and have followed your career and your life, they want to know how you're doing. And, and you told me already, so tell them how you're doing. My kids are doing great, so yeah. I'm doing great. And if I'm doing great, my kids are doing well. Right. I have the most important responsibility as a um, parent, yeah. as a woman, as a wife, as a singer, is to be the best mother possible. Um, I used to be 50-50 as partnership with my husband, who was my manager and the father of my children. And I really feel that to see him suffering for the last three years of his life, yeah. it was not my husband. And to see him suffer so much was very, very difficult for everyone. And knowing that now he's not suffering anymore, and I look at my children and I see him through their eyes, it's like, yeah. and I tell them that dad is not gone. He lives within us, he's in our heart. And I have to say that I'm very thankful because um, when he passed, um, I was very fortunate that, to make a long story short, that my children did not find him. Yes. And the second thing is that I needed to take charge. Uh, he had his will, and I really wanted to make sure that it was going to happen the way that he wanted it. Yes. And then, uh, make a long story short, I kind of asked for some books to help me, to help my kids to cope with that. Sure. And everything that I was reading, I was like, it didn't, it didn't cope, it didn't do well with me. Oh, really? So I put really? everything away, yeah. and I said, okay, if you're a mom and you have three kids, it's today. Today you're a mom, mm -hmm. and you have to prove to yourself and you, to your kids you and your husband them. 
you get it's today that your job starts. And then we were going to pack and go to Montreal. And um, I took the kids, my twins, and they're five. And I said, I changed my tone and I said, guys, I have to talk to you and look outside right now how pretty the sunset is. Come on. And there's a little playhouse in the living room. And I said, you cannot interrupt mama. You have to listen to me. I said, you know the movie Up? Mm -hmm. They said, oh yeah, with the balloon. I said, listen, remember Ellie who went up? Yeah. She, was, they, she was very old. She was very old. And I said, sometimes we go up and we're not old. We're very, very, very sick. But have you ever been sick before? And then he said, oh, I've threw up and I had a belly ache and then I had a fever and I had a sore throat and I had a bit. And I said, have I never had a sore throat? Because I didn't want to put yeah. doctors, motherhood, like, like how come our family doctor or mama, because Papa had a fever that you didn't save him. Yeah, yeah, I, yeah. I wanted to protect my, my surroundings and my people. So I said, Papa had a big tube in his belly. And I mean, our family doctor cannot fix that. And mommy could not give him a syrup or a scoff. He was not coughing. Mm -hmm. So Papa went up. I said, listen to me. No, 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 you can't interrupt. I said, where's Papa? Is he in the living room? Is he, uh, is he in his room? Is he with us? No, where is he? They said, up. Oh. I said, that's right. And I said, you know what? He's with Eli. And of course, our house will not take off of the balloons because we still live in it. Mm -hmm. But I said, who helped him to go up? What flies? And I made them talk. They said, well, hummingbirds. I said, that's a good one. Mm. And they said, Tinkerbell. I said, brilliant. <laughs> and then they said, butterflies. And then they started to say to me things that were dragonflies and things that were yeah. flying. I said, you know what? Where's Papa? Papa, Mama, you just thought he's up. Papa is not coming back. Once you go up, there's no boo-boo. Papa's talking, he's eating, he's having a good time, yeah. but he's in our heart mm -hmm. and he's watching down. And you know what we're going to do right now? We're going to celebrate life. Amen. And we're going to take Tinkerbell powder, magic powder. We're going to go outside because the sun is going and he sees us. We're going to blow sparkles. And we're going to have a party. Yeah. So we put wings. We you made it joyful for them. And then, I mean, we have two labs. They, could, they were shining in the dark at night because we did so many. <laughs> I mean, I was singing Twinkle, you were Twinkle, Little Stars. I don't know where my room is. You know, is yeah, that? Yeah. But, but then we had and a ritual. And they were good after that? That was that They never thing. asked any questions. The only wow. thing they add, they took a picture of him. And I, and I noticed that one of my twin, Eddie, was talking to his aunt. And he said, Papa, I know you're up, but I want to say that I love you very much, mon amour. And I, I want, I'm, we're going to be watching like uh, the crudes and I hope you like it. Have a good up and I love you. He said, have a good up. Yeah, have a good up. And he said, Nelson, because he's a little bussy, he said, Nelson, come and say good night to Papa. Wow. So I was like, I stayed behind and Nelson came and he said, uh, and then they have a ritual. They start by two and then one in the picture and I love you. And they started that and every night, we kiss the picture, and they make sure, Mom, did you kiss the Dad? And Nelson, did you kiss Dad? And okay. So we have that ritual. And my 15-year-old and a Renee half Shaw. is, I said to him, you will never have the responsibility of becoming the man of the house. This is your life. You're oh. not your dad. Good. You're I not think that's here. wise. You're not here to replace no one. Mm -hmm. You deserve to have your happiness. Yeah. Your dad is with you. And not put, put, place such a huge burden on no, a 15-year-old no, child. No, and that's yeah. not all right. Yeah. And my big so, son and I were so close. And we talk oh, about when, my when you husband. you were given the Icon Award, and he came out and gave it to oh, you. Listen, I'm, I'm, I think I'm, we have a picture of that. When you were, he came out and surprised you, and you were going to be strong, because it was oh. it was still very early in, uh, in the loss of, of Rene. And, he, and, you, and then you sang, I didn't realize this was one of Renee's favorite songs, The Show Must Go On. The Show Must Go On. Oh, my gosh. You, and you gave strength to everybody because you are strong. We can all be strong. Everybody is waiting to, to see how you're doing, you know, you know, to give them permission to be okay. And at the same time, if you show, everybody says, you know, you get a show for them to learn. Yeah. And if I show strength. And I have, to, I have to tell you that I, I feel very strong because my husband had given all of us wonderful luggage. All the tools. I lost the man of my life. I but I cannot live thinking this way. Mm. I have to say I found the best man in the world mm -hmm. like you did for yourself. Mm -hmm. And we were both extremely lucky. 
And the luggage that we have will carry us for the rest of our lives. And showing our kids that mom is fine and you're going to be okay. And we're all is, going up um, someday. Right? Yeah. But you know what? What's, what's Jerry, amazing? Jerry, please. Renee, thank you. can you help her? Oh, oh, thank you. Actually, it's Jerry. Oh, my God. I want one like that. You would, isn't that wonderful just to have that any time? Jerry, can you go home with me? And then go on over to to uh, Celine's house and just be around when we need a, a good cry. That have is you felt, amazing. Have you cried a lot? Because I haven't cried. Here in heaven, would you know my name? If I saw you in heaven, you'd get the Kleenex from heaven. That's amazing. You're a really strange person. You know that if you <laughs> We love having you. We're going to be right back with more Celine. With Celine. Now call your friends because. Salon Delon? Celine Dion just went down the road. It's wrong. the wine. We got to do, do, do that. Do that. Every time you sing, I do. Oh, you got to do this. You got to pump my chest. That's right. We'll be right back after this with more of Celine Dion. Love you, Huda woman, but this is big. This is big. And we have some big news. New album coming out in August, right? And it's your 26th, but it's, it's your first French one in a long, long time, in the for, French language. For a while, yeah. It's yeah. called Encore un soir. If I translate, it's like one more, one more night. night, one more night. But um, it's a song that talks about... Um, I called the author, Jean-Jacques Goldman, who did write for me, mm -hmm. many, many songs about Life. fall and mm -hmm. winter and summer and colors and cold and hot and all and the above. But I said, Jean-Jacques, I'm not asking you to write a song that you already did write. You wrote everything for me. Um, Renee is going through um, hard times. And um, I can't think of anybody else than you, but can you please write a song for us to help us to do the transition, to cross the bridge? Mm. Because I think life is a bridge it's not like From one life to the it's next. not like you live and then you die for me it's like you live you cross the bridge and it's another life after passing i really believe and, and that song has helped renee and i tremendously mm. and when i sing now it's like it's not a sad song yeah because honestly since my husband is not suffering i sing now and i'm enjoying because I know I'm his favorite singer. You sure a lot of people's uh, favorite singer. We were definitely Renee's. <laughs> definitely Renee. And um, I feel strong. I feel free. I don't see him suffer. I sing. I do my best. I have a good time. And then I decided, listen, it's now. Yeah. I have it's to today. do it. It's today. Yeah. It's this moment. Yeah. You know, there's yeah. only two days during the year where there's, any, there's, there's nothing you can do about only two. There's 365 days a year. Only two days. And what are they? Yesterday and tomorrow. Yeah. Can't do anything about it. Yeah. Yeah. Today is yeah, a Yeah, I keep day. thinking that too. I said, you know what? If I concentrate on what I've lost, I will be in despair. But if I concentrate on what I still have, all of God's blessings, yeah. I still have my husband and my beautiful children the same yeah. way you do. Yeah. And I, you can actually, people don't understand it, but you, we are in a state of what's called grace. And I think that's because God gives us what you need when you need it. And we have actually been rejoicing as a family since Frank went to be with the Lord. We know where he is. We have yeah. peace about yeah. it. He's up. That's for sure. And that was sweet that you used that analogy. Up is a great thing. Yeah, up is good. Down up is good. Up down is, is not so good. No, everything you know, is going everything else I, is Don't down. start to, about That's talking the, about down. Well, you don't have anything. Everything to, is going down yeah. with the gravity, it's, baby. It's going south. Oh, hold on. Ooh, cheers. <laughs> The I'm an amateur compared to this woman. All right, now listen, you have always been a very, very stylish lady. You had your own unique style. But more and more and more, you are loving um, the pa Paris couture, right? You're, you love, you, didn't you just I go to... I always love Paris couture. Yeah. I always love couture. I always love Paris. I always love clothing. I'm yeah. a girl. I always love, you know, you, I, I, there's not enough red bags and brown bags and I know, black bags a and the of white dress. I in, in Paris Match. No, listen, this is nothing. This is just like an eighth or one. Eighth, not even. Forget this about is the a 12, closet. 12 piece it's not even about a that is closet. So much fun. Is that what I'm realizing is that I want to play 
You want to enjoy life. I want to enjoy life. Today is the day. Yeah. And I realize that there's no age for fashion and to play with clothes. You yeah. think because they're all 17 and 19 years old. Yeah. yeah. And it's like. But their brains aren't even formed yet. You know what I'm saying? I, we, you, you want to talk about that? <laughs> That's another segment after the commercial. <laughs> But honestly. Your son, Rene Charles, has 10 more years before his brain. Listen up. to me. <laughs> When is the law going to come that you need to be 18 years old to have your driver's license? In California, they did it, 18. Yeah. In Nevada, it's still 16. Ooh. And you know what? I'm saying to myself, until pimples is showing on your face, you cannot drive. Yeah, but there is Because a Because listen, is it, is it true? Is it true? Excuse me, excuse me. But is it true? You're going to regret you invited me. Is it true? Is it really true that from 14 to 17 years old, the, the, the teenagers are struggling? Is it true? Oh, yes. This is a hard time. They're yes. babies. Their they're, hormones they're are women. raging. So if the hormones are raging, why would they drive at 16? With ton, yeah, ton uh, behind a vehicle that's... Why would they drive at 16? The woman's a little loony, but she's got a point. <laughs> I, I want the law to go to 18 years old. Well, they go to war then. Some kids them are very responsible. Yeah. But it's not only about responsibilities. You drive for the others. You're a tough mom too, aren't you? You know what? Yeah. I got principles. You, you're Once scaring you me now. Once you start driving, you can drive... <laughs> Don't drive me crazy. <laughs> What's in there? That is Pinot Noir Rosé, baby. It's that's, my that's stuff, the, and I'm glad you like it. That's the noir. <laughs> okay. If, I hope you'll join Celine and I. I hope you're going to stay with us, because... <laughs> Listen, there's no age to get into fashion, whether you're 19 or 49 or, or whatever, or, or, or Pinot Noir, or white, Enjoy or rosé. La Haim. La Haim, la Honda, a la, la, la Vita, <laughs> and Hoda. We'll be right back. Hoda, <laughs> stay there. I'm having a good time. It's great. <laughs> and I was worried about her. <laughs> <laughs> I just did, I just did Celine's high. thing, except I hit my left breast. Low. She said, no, higher. He just your chest. Yeah. Right. Still ahead, two funny ladies. Just like us. And we're there turning heads <laughs> at the turn of the century. We're going to meet the stars of another period, right? Correct. And yeah. nails, you got to see. And nails, nails, nails you're going to freak out. See. You got to see. Beautiful nails. There's a new nail right out there. They're new. Who's singing? <laughs> That's my new album. <laughs> <laughs> we've got today. It's a very special Try to Friday hoodies off, but filling in today, the one and the only Celine Dion. And if you're looking for a new show to make you laugh, I think we have found it for them, don't you think? <laughs> What's it called, Celine? It's a scam. <laughs> something's, well, something's wrong over here. You were late booking. We didn't have time. It's called <laughs> another period. It's been called a cross between the Real Housewives and Downtown Abbey. Now, Downton. All right, down It's French. All right, downtown. <laughs> downtown down, Abbey. Down, downtown. <laughs> the Comedy Central show follows the ridiculously <laughs> debaucherous, I love them, lives of the Bella Court sisters, the fictional It Girls of, two, of 1902, the year I was born, and it was created by <laughs> and stars Natasha Leggero and Ricky Lindholm. Did oh, I get those right? Oh, yeah. We like the Italian accent. You two are good. so cute. How do you get away with what you get away with? <laughs> just because it's at the turn of the century. Yeah. We couldn't say that stuff now. We can be like, look what they did back then. And, and, and yes, and, the, the, and there was no income tax then, so you were like, they're filthy, filthy rich, mm -hmm. Selena. People little, don't. Not as much as you are, <laughs> but damn, damn close. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's right. Nobody's as rich as Celine. But anyway, tell us how it got started. Didn't you mix two ideas you had? Well, Ricky and I were both, we were in Senegal, um, of vacationing. You were. <laughs> we, were, we were doing some, some videos for it. <laughs> Keep talking. This could be I a like long. how dry Celine's sense of humor is. It's pretty I dry. I had no idea. Yeah. Oh, listen. We're, we've, <laughs> we've now officially the cut it off, too. The best is yet to come. <laughs> as long as we drink wine. wine. <laughs> okay. Here they are, getting courted by two potential suitors. You two sound like absolute delights. <laughs> you gals do, too. Ha-ha. <laughs> <laughs> so, when can we meet your daughters? It's not our daughters you'd be marrying. It's us. Mm -hmm. We're our daughters. <laughs> <laughs> We're our daughters, it's us. 
We just wasted all afternoon with you! <laughs> So in that scene, the man says his wife died from turning 38. Oh, so. one day she was 37, and the next thing we knew, that's she was how 104. Was. Yes. <laughs> that, and it just happened well, that quickly. Because at that time period, if you were 38, you, you know. Yes. <laughs> and, 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 and that's what I mean by you get away with so much, and it's just so ridiculous. In that, is that the one where you're, you're um, you've, the, your mother has been giving away all the money, and so your father says you got to dump your husbands and get married again so more money comes into the family? Oh, is that, that a different that's one? That's the follow-up to that one, though. <laughs> this is what goes Might on. Might make that whole thing here? It's yes. Nice. Let's go on their show. Come on. You and me? Yes. Can ease me on our show? <laughs> Let's do it. You and I both need a career change. It's okay, obvious. Aldo, can you work it, please? Aldo. But you know, okay, whoa, 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 whoa. Time out. Got to change that picture. Okay. <laughs> Somebody mock something up quickly, okay? I want an Aldo. You just yell Aldo and someone helps you? Yeah. Is it Aldo or Aldo? Aldo. Okay, this is Hoda and this is Aldo. Don't mix both okay. of them because Aldo. we'll be in trouble. Aldo. Where because can everybody see your show, you guys? Because it is hysterically Comedy Central, right? Comedy Central. Wednesdays at 10. Wednesday the 10th. And you've already started. Uh, that picked up for your third, and you barely started your second. We, yeah. we just started writing, and we're going to start writing the third season. And um, yes, yeah. you know, we are going to consider both of you. Try to write we're something. We're going to make you compete against each other for the same part. <laughs> oh, put yourself on tape. Oh, my we'll, we'll put ourselves on tape for you. All right. Great to see you guys. Huge oh, fans. Thank All right. You. Another period airs Wednesdays on Comedy Central. All right, Liliana's is back with latest Lux for Less Trend. Hmm. And it happens to come with a lot of fringe be benefits right after this. Yeah, fringe is a new thing. Fringe? Like fringe. To help you fly. No. What are you doing? What about you drinking your cream from the bottom? All right, I hope you had your Cheerios. <laughs> because I, look who I've got with me. She's very excited, Hi. though. She's very Hi. excited. Show them what you've got, honey. Yeah, what I just want to make sure we see yes, the record straight. Thank you so much. What a diva. What a diva. She got oh on the car. Oh, my God. You happy now? Can we get on with the show now? That's oh amazing. God. Yeah. Now, this is Liliana. Hello, Liliana. Hi. How are you? And she does our Lux you. for Lex. My name is French Lex. Dion. French Dion. I love I'm it. French. I love it. Fr French Dion. Exactly. And this is the hot new thing. I'm sure you, you've already known that. You were just in Paris. This is the... the Fringe I was is wearing this it. in Colorado well, years see, ago. that's the thing I love about this trend is it's not really a trend because I never think that French has gone out of style. No. Celine, you've worn it on stage many times. I was looking at some shows. You've worn a ton of beautiful beaded oh, yeah. fringe gowns. Look at this Because it you. moves. It moves yeah. very you there you are. Look at that. That's amazing. Oh, wow. wow. Yeah. Nice. And I think you. what you said earlier was so important. Fashion has no age. So it doesn't matter so if you're 5, Thank 10, you 15, so 20, or 95. If you want to rock a little fringe or rock some fashion, go for it. Go for right? it. What's that on your head? This is a top knot. Do you think, wait, I feel like you don't like it. No, no. Just this wanted like, to know. I, I, it's the Sia thing. Oh, you know no. Sia wears a lot of bow? Yeah. Okay, so it's... She's obsessed with Sia. I'm I've never seen a Sia. Yeah. I'm getting her cat. Okay, okay, everything's going <laughs> what happens? Sorry. Come on over. So we have three models that okay. are going to show us three different ways oh, to rock great. fringe. Okay, so let's start with our first fringe. Oh, they're already ready. And this is called chainette fringe. This is what you typically see on fabric or in home decor. That's beautiful, actually. Gorgeous. And how Isn't beautiful is she? I like it. You yeah. like it? Ba for me, bathing suit and this. Yeah, beautiful. I love that. Yeah. And guess what? This is under $50. It's available at shopteaks.com. Oh, I can't afford that. <laughs> yeah, she has something can't afford that. No, right. too much. But she looks beautiful. And we just did a body conscious dress over it. That's with so the pretty. kimono, again, perfect overdress, or like you suggested, with I think a beautiful over one piece. It's a... elegant, wow. it's chic. Yeah, it's yeah. Fantastic. Okay. Thank you, guys. We love Thank you. you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We love okay. you. Yeah. Next up, yeah, yeah, yeah. I believe we have frayed fringe. So what this is a mean? huge oh, trend right now. So the you know how distressed, the two. Yeah, yeah. So distressed denim has also been a huge, has a huge moment in fashion. Do you like that? Now it's about the really Do frayed you have edges. Scissors? I'm going to fix a few things. I know it makes you. <laughs> It makes you look oh. at, yeah, so if that's a big thing. I don't it's think this is going to last. It's a big thing. This, I think, is momentary, but I think yeah. it's very now, very hot. These are from Zara, and they're under 50 bucks, so you don't have to invest in the trend. You can just try it for $50. And Decide then when, you they, your when mind. it goes out, make it into you a know, it's cut true. If you get out, if you're tired, yeah. I mean, you, you and guys are like, not, no, 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 listen, we have no idea how good we are. Because this, if you get tired of it, yeah. you just cut the fringe, you, snap it. you turn and you it twice. You turn it twice and you have stiletto, Very we cute. Go. Thanks, Kimberly. Okay, and then last but not least, we have one of my favorite dresses. And this is, I think, how people think of fringe, very Thank 70s you, style. Oh, yes. So Chantal Thanks. is showing us this 
beautiful dress. This is one of my favorite does pieces. She it's crocheted. She has I don't know, I don't know, what, what, I don't know, know what I don't know what part of Chantel we're looking at right now. I think we should. Now, the best part about this dress is not only that it's gorgeous, but that it's under $25. What? Chantel, I know you, uh, you're looking, uh, we want to see the front of the yes. dress. Oh, definitely. Us. Oh, oh it's so pretty. My Gorgeous, goodness. right? 25 and rose bucks. gold. And look, yes. yes. Yeah. And the fringe. Yeah. Yeah, and yeah that's you're what's, rocking that's it. Rolling. Rolling. Rolling, yeah. Rolling, rolling, yeah. Yeah. rolling, rolling on, on the river. river. I say, do, 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 oh, do, do, do. Yes. That's right. That's a dress for my backup singers. Yeah. That's yeah. a dress that you wore. There you go. Oh, Thank you. All right, what else you got? I love that. So we have two items of great accessories. We have these fringe earrings. If you just want to try a little bit of it, these are available at Nasty Gal, 20 bucks. A fringe cuff from Macy's. Does oh, anybody no. want to maybe slip yeah, that on? That. I think that would look beautiful on you. Also super That's affordable. Heavy. That's nice. Isn't that nice? I'm going to swap the cuff for yeah. this watch. Uh, can you get it on? Beautiful. Okay. You know, when you need an assistant to wear a jewelry, it's a good piece. It, it is. is. It is. Piece. Absolutely. Then we have tons of shoes. A lot of these are available at Charlotte Russe. Oh, oh. What's My what? turn. And here we have Celine Dion modeling a beautiful cuff to Leah Sodi Looking for, for the Macy's. Lights at night, you know. Oh, they are thrilled right now. <laughs> they are got so Celine happy. Dion doing that for them. Unbelievable. Sold. They're sold out right now. I'm sure. I know. And sold. And so oh, great beautiful. shoes. Beautiful. Beautiful. Maybe try on the shoe a little later after the show. Those are available at Charlotte sure. Russe. And then these fabulous bags, bags also. I love a fringe bag. Backpacks are the new style. All of these and to available tell you this, at honey, it's the 60s all over it again. Is. Hold on to these things because everything comes sorry, back. Celine loves everything. She loves all right, these. we're going to go to another hot trend that's no. right at your feet. All right, we have a commercial Under $50. break. Under $50. NastyGal.com. Do you have my size? Oh, what you know size are you? I'm so bad. You know, sometimes when I go to a we'll store, on them. We'll be right back. We're shopping. <laughs> Keep talking. Here. We just have to go to commercial break Amazing. and pay some bills. I, I have to say, you know, you have size eight and a half, three, eight and a half, yeah. and they say, oh, I'm sorry. I said, okay, I need them. What size do you have? I'll make them fit. Oh. <laughs> when I want them, I need, them. need them. I want it. Well, let's and flip you these feel over. that way about these? How is that? Oh, these are a six. Oh, that's, that's so sad. Don't make them work. That's my size. So sad. Do you have my size? Okay. We'll be right back. How you can get chrome nails when you head to the salon. Woo You're going to want that too, aren't you? This is great. Amazing, right? <laughs> this is great. You get your watch? Okay. Oh, yeah. What about your watch? She got it. Got it. The fringe. The fringe. I love that. With the fringe. With the fringe. I really don't know what to say. <laughs> oh, I know, baby. So happy Celine's with us now to the hottest nail trend that'll really reflect your sense of style. We've seen it on celebrities like supermodel Gigi Hadid. And it's called Chrome Nails. And in style executive editor Amy Sinnott is here to show how you can get them. Yes, right. I guess it's kind of easy. Hi, Amy. It is easy. And you have Sophie here with us, right? right. Hi, and, Sophie. And <laughs> Sophie's got the look on. And um, this trend really took off after Gigi Hadid wore it to the yeah. Met Ball. And what happened is all of a sudden, the internet was flooded with people trying to take pictures and trying to recreate it. But her nails actually cost $2,000. They were custom made, they had crystals on the inside. So obviously, it wasn't very easy. The so average person can't do this, right? It, yeah, it's, yeah. it's a little tricky. It can be expensive. So what we've done today is we've come up with a couple different ways that you can do it at home for $2. very little money. Okay, yes, exactly. Great. With stuff you aren't, might already have at home or do you have to go out and get it? Well, there's some things that you can just get at the drugstore. Uh -huh. So like Sally Hansen, which I have on, um, is just a very densely pigmented metallic polish. Okay. But first, what you want to do is this. I consider this the unicorn of chrome nails because it really gives you this incredibly reflective um, surface, which is wow. like the chrome can I, nails. Can we see? see closer? You know, and I'll I always show really you like stuff like this, but that's really quite pretty. It is. I'm going to show you how you can do it. It comes on these little like wraps that you just peel off like a sticker. Like stickers, right? Okay. Yeah. And I've actually trimmed these in advance with little scissors so that you can you just can put see it on and trim already. around it. Yep. You fit it onto your nail, like you, a silk wrap. Exactly. Then you press it down and you trim it. Hold on, hold on, hold on. And how long will that stay on, do you think? It can stay on for about a week. And it's no glue. No glue. So no glue. No glue. It's, it's a sticker. If you're, you stick it on your nail, and then you do a top coat on after? Not even a top coat. Actually, wow. what, what you want to do is, before you put it on, if you're at home, use a hair dryer to warm it up, and that will make it more malleable. 
you just stretch it over the nail. The nail. Okay. Yes. And okay. the other thing is that if you do are a person who chews chew the nails, yeah, bite the you nails. have all gold teeth at the end of the day. Yeah, there you go. You're right in style. <laughs> great. All righty. Uh, what else wow. you got there for us? So Is that we, it? We also have, if you don't want to take the time to order something online, we also have these polishes which you can get at the drugstore. So we have OPI, which this is a beautiful gunmetal shade. If you want to do something that's maybe a little bit more subtle or sophisticated, this, um, this is a great way to kind of nod to the trend, yeah. but like, you know, maybe a little bit easier to wear. And then we also have um, this from Sally Hansen, which as I mentioned before is what I have on my nails. Yeah. And it's, what's great about this is it's called Miracle Gel and you really only need like this and one top coat and it will last a full 14 days. Wow. And how can we go from GG $2,000 mm -hmm. to a nail polish that's available for everybody. Go to your drugstore. What's ten dollars? Go to your drugstore. Ten dollars. Go to but the drugstore. You have a drugstore. I mean, what happened? Gigi comes with a nail polish. That's yeah, why it's two thousand dollars because she comes with it. No, I think she, she delivers got... it. She delivers it. That's right. And, and for more money, Gigi will actually bring it to you and that's, do your nails. That's exactly. All right. Thanks so much, Amy. Thanks, Sophie. Thank you so much. We're going to be back great. with more in a moment. But first, this is today on NBC, right? Sure. I can't really stop it. There's other and things. Are you <laughs> Love you. I want to thank the amazing Celine Dion for being with me here today. Um, Hoda will be back on uh, on Monday. I'm sure she's so sorry she missed seeing you. She oh, Hoda, thank you, Tom. I had such a great time. I don't know if it's about the wine, the New York City, the fans, you. I don't know what it is. No, but people have I fun when they come here. Time. And for thank the record, you. she only had a little tiny bit of wine, okay? Don't want to write those nasty stories. Don't you even think about it. Love you. I love you. All you the best strong. for the new CD. She's CD, and a few performances a few in, Montreal, in Montreal and Quebec. Exactly. And then your residency out in, in uh, Vegas. Go back to Vegas Most for more shows. Biggest residency ever in the history of the business. Why are we surprised? Okay. Come on. All the best to you. God bless you in those Thank little you. Those I fabulous love you. Boys. Thanks for the day. I love you too. Bye. Bye, everybody. Bye. Have an awesome weekend. Au revoir. Bye bye. Ciao. A bientôt. A bientôt. Mon amour. La <laughs>